behind the scenes for the production of a number. So Monique, could you give us a quick overview of a number? A number is about a mother who, it's kind of the debate between nature and nurture. So is a mother supposed to be kind and supportive and motherly or is it, um, is it something that's inflicted by society and um, we're trying to ch challenge the stereotypes. So it starts off with um, the interaction between her original daughter who she sent away and then cloned and had a second child. And then the final scene is also about another interaction with another clone that was made. Um, but it's important for the audience to know that the intention of the mother wasn't to have all of these clones made. Um, it was more the idea of her wanting to redo her role as a mother. Um, she suffers from depression. Um, she also had a drinking problem in the past. So this is more of her way of, she feels she's being a good mother by doing all these things, but it's not really the case at all. It also kind of expands to think about if you were a person and you met another version of yourself that had a different life and a different experience, it really calls into question the kind of decisions you make as a human being, whether you can help them and whether, um, whether they were just predetermined for you. I was initially intrigued by the, uh, the dialogue. Um, it isn't the most descriptive um, dialogue and I think you can come in thinking one thing about it and you will leave thinking something else. I wanted to do something. I know a lot of the things for the drama society tend to be quite heavily male casted and I thought it would be so lovely to do something where it's just all females and I think there's so many questions that can be answered and so many things that as females we've got to say so applying the dialogue to females it just works it didn't re I didn't I don't view it as a male play or a female play I just kind of saw it as a play and it could just be applied to females it's not even a question we've we've not gotten into the play with a fixed idea of why we've had a female or female cast like it's something that um it's actually been really interesting to work with because I think the reasons we you started doing it and the reasons you've come out with now mm. just completely Two different. different. Seven, right. eight, yeah. nine, ten, eleven. Okay. okay, so I'm here with a cast of a number and we're just going to go through each character and tell me a bit about each of your characters. So I'm B2 um, and I I'm a clone of B1, and throughout the performance, I'm finding out that if I'm the original clone or who am I, and it's basically I'm a very confused character, trying to find my identity if I have one, and it terrifies me, um, trying to figure out who I am and where I've come from, and my life's basically been something different than what I thought it was. Can we all go? Um, so I'm playing the character of mother. Um, I basically clone my child, and I think there's only one, but it turns out there's about 20 of them. Well, the numbers kind of not really reveal it's a number. Um, but I suffer with a lot of things, mainly things like depression. Um, I have an alcohol and drug addiction. Um, and throughout, it's kind of like me trying to lose my guilt by passing it on to my children, basically, and meeting certain ones that have certain characteristics that conflict with what I see as good morals. Yeah. My character's C2, I'm quite separated because I'm just another one of the clones. Um, my character really is just coming into the situation and is more kind of an outside source of being able, she's trying to understand what happened but she's very distant from it. It's not an emotional connection for her. Um, I'm B1, I'm the original clone. Um, I'm very angry at mother and mainly at B2 for um, living a better life than me and having a better time when I'm the original one. So I'm quite angry and, and irate throughout. Great, okay, so throughout the pr uh, rehearsal process, what's been the most challenging part? Maybe about your character or just working together? Maybe? Um, I'd say getting to grips with the dialogue because there's no punctuation throughout basically the whole thing so you have to as an actor decide what happens and a lot of the conversation especially for my character is jumping from sentence to sentence and it's a massive thought process so that was really hard figuring out what my character was actually thinking. 
Great, okay, so throughout the pro uh, rehearsal process, what's been the most challenging part? Maybe about your character or just working together? Really? Um, I'd say getting to grips with the dialogue because there's no punctuation throughout basically the whole thing. So you have to, as an actor, decide what happens. And a lot of the conversation, especially for my character, is jumping from sentence to sentence and it's a massive thought process. So that was really hard figuring out what my character was actually thinking. So yeah. Yeah, kind of pretty much what you said. Like it's really hard. It was quite difficult to learn as a script. Um, but as well as that, I find it very challenging to connect with the character. Obviously, I, I, I'm not a mother. I don't, I don't suffer with depression, so I don't know what that's like. So it involves a lot of me sort of stepping back and thinking about my character more in depthly, especially because I act so different with each child. It's kind of, it was really important for me to take to realise that each scene wasn't just a follow on from the last, but that something had happened in between. And what did you find, what's been the most enjoyable part of this process in doing the play? Anything like, maybe with your character? Um, yeah. I usually do play parts that are angry or quite direct because I'm quite not like that as a person. But it's been really good, like, um, getting to grips with something that's a bit different and, like, changing my physicality and, and yeah, getting to know everyone. Yeah, does, that, does, that, does anyone feel like, like there's a bit of you in the character? Like, do you, does any of you see yourself? My character's pretty much, much me, yeah. <laughs> really to be honest. Why? I think a lot of how I've characterised it has come from myself. I'm yeah. quite all over the place. I don't like maths, it's the only difference. My character's a maths teacher. But a lot of my physicality and how I use humour to diffuse awkward situations and things like that. Oh, great. So... Was this after your dad? Yes. After my dad was dead, this was after. Because you were very little, Winnie. I remember. You were maybe two, Winnie. I remember he was dead. It wasn't a limb. They obviously didn't take a limb and like a starfish grow. A spin. Or like a worm chopped in half and the other half grow back. space they still shock me the script still shocks me the actors still shock me it, it's just constantly been impressive to watch grow as a piece and I think we're all quite proud and I think you'll come thinking it's going to be one thing but it's not it's not what you expect it's definitely not what you expect especially from the original and um, we've really tried to change it and put our own spin on it so yeah it's on the 14th 15th and 16th 